They didn't have real iman. They maybe at some point they had an intellectual faith, but even that was lost because of their weak. They didn't take care of their hearts, so there's no light coming out of their chest because the heart was void. And as a result, the deeds were meaningless because the deeds are nothing if they're not good with good intentions in the heart. So if the heart is hard, then the deeds are worthless. So there's no light with these guys. Now if you're in a, in a dark place and you're walking, some people have torches, you don't have a torch. What do you want to do? Stay close to the people with the torch. You could see some of the light with them. Now if you get left behind and you realize you can't see them anymore, they call out, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Naqtabis min nurikum. Qabas in Arabic is a borrowed flame. Like Indiana Jones style, you take your torch and you light the other, or you light your torch with some things. So that's basically, can we borrow some of your light? Can we have some of your light so we can have light for ourselves? Qila, it will be said to them. Allah doesn't even say that the Muslims will turn back to them and say. Allah says, Qila, shh, over there, shh. Qila, it will be said. It will be said. Allah doesn't even say believers will say it to them. Because that would make it seem like believers are like, Concerned. Um, an announcement is made. Just like Bushrakum al Yom, we weren't meant the Qail, the speaker wasn't mentioned. Just like that. An announcement is made. Irji'u wara'akum. Go back behind you. Turn around and go back. Faltamisu nura. Go find light. Go seek it out. Get it somewhere else. This light ain't for you. Go get your own light. These guys are in the utter dark and they're told, turn around. Go find your own light. فَضُّرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ But they don't listen, they still want to try to catch up to the believers, right? Because turning back, they realize what that means. So what does Allah say? فَضُّرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِسُورٍ Then between them, a wall will be dropped. A large wall. Sur, from which we also get surah. Surah is large walls that encircle a city. It's not the wall in your backyard. It's not the fence wall. It's the large, you know, Assassin's Creed wall. Big giant wall, can't scale it, etc. Okay? That wall. That kind of huge dam wall will be dropped between them. Lahu bab, which has a door. Lahu bab. Why even mention a door? On about comment, you know, there are different levels of munafiqun and people of weak iman. There may be those who are in, who are, you know, the Messenger describes, alayhi salatu wasalam, people that will burn in hellfire for some time and then eventually make their way to paradise. Well, how are they going to get to paradise if this gigantor wall is there? What's in that wall? A door. There's, there's still some way. But, and, and some argue, no, this, wall, this door is mentioned, so it adds to their hope, so they try to open it and realize it won't open. So it's like insult to injury. بَاطِنُهُ فِيهِ rahma. On the other side of it, the side you can't see, there is mercy. وَظَاهِرُهُ And the obvious side, where, where these people are at, مِنْ قِبَلِهِ الْعَظَابِ from, from the other side of it, is all there is is punishment. يُنَادُونَهُمْ They're gonna start calling out from the wall. Now walls don't have ceilings. So you can still hear on the other side. So they start yelling and screaming, أَلَمْ نَكُمْ مَعَكُمْ Weren't we with you? We were with you, we, were, we went to the same school, man. Remember? Mudaf, Mudaf ilay. You, you and I were like Mudaf and Mudaf ilay, inseparable, nothing comes between us. You know? What happened today, man? I used to be at the masjid too. I was a believer too. Abdullah ibn Ubay was at the first rows of, you know, of the masjid. When I went to masjid al Nabawi for Fajr, I got to the masjid before the adhan, started walking, Prayed some sunnah, kept walking, iqamah was given, I, I was not even halfway into the masjid. Not even halfway into the masjid. My intention was to try to catch, like follow the janazah into Jannah al-Baqiyah. If you're up ahead, you can follow it. But man, you're like, way back there. You know, in the, in the hallway you have to pray. And you're like, man, these munafiqoon, they were in the front row, behind Rasulullah, that Shaykh Hudayfi. Behind Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And yet they're munafiq. Yet they're munafiq. And Allah now, you know, أَلَمْ نَكُمْ مَعَكُمْ Weren't we with you? قَالُوا بَلَا Of course you were. Why not? I remember you. وَلَكِنَّكُمْ فَتَنْتُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ You put yourselves in, in trial and difficulty. You put yourselves in tribulation. You... Shaitan didn't put you in difficulty, you put yourself in difficulty. Fitna is a difficult test. 
you attacked yourselves. You were given the same motivation we were given. You were given the same reminders we were given. You didn't translate any of that into action because you said, eh. So now what is the explanation of you put yourselves in difficulty, in fitna, in tribulation? وَتَرَبَّصْتُمْ You procrastinated. تَرَبُّصْ يعني wait and see. Uh, we'll see. We got time. I got time. I'll change. I know I have to do things. I have to make changes in myself. It can wait. وَغَرَّتْكُمُ amani, And false hopes deluded you. What are these false hopes that delude people? Oh, you know, things will work out in the end. Allah is not going to throw everyone in hell. I mean, there's so many more people that are much worse than I am that deserve hell. So why would He come after little old me for my little old laziness and fajr? It's not, a big, it's not that big of a deal. At least I make it up. Wishful thinking. Then there are other wishful thoughts. Forget about having aspirations in akhirah. Your only aspirations become dunya. From one promotion to the next. From one set of savings to the next. From one investment to the next. From one workout routine to the next. You know, that's all you become. That's all you amount to. These, these are your aspirations in life. Hatta ja'a amrullah. Until the decision of Allah came. وَغَرَّكُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغَرُورِ And the most deceptive one, the extremely deceptive one got the best of you. Meaning shaitan, iblis got the best of you. فَالْيَوْمَ لَا يُؤْخَذُ مِنْكُمْ فِدْيَةٌ Then on that day, no ransom will be accepted from you. فَالْيَوْمَ لَا يُؤْخَذُ مِنْكُمْ فِدْيَةٌ On that day, no ransom will be accepted from you. وَلَا مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا Nor from those who've disbelieved. Now you've been bunched together with those who disbelieve. مَأْوَاكُمُ النَّارِ Your final place. Place of refuge is fire. Hiya maulakum. It is the one that is going to protect you now. It is the one that will guard you now. Wa bi'sal masil. And what a horrible place of final return that is. Alam ya'ni lil ladina amanu. One of the heaviest ayat of complaint in the Quran from Allah to Muslims. This ayah. It's so hard. This ayah is so hard. Alam ya'ni lil ladina amanu. Hasn't the time come? Hasn't the time come yet? Ya'ni is the uh, ana ya'ni is actually from the word an. What does al an mean? Now, isn't it now? Isn't now the time? Isn't now the time? Hasn't it come yet for believers? An taqshaa kulubuhum that their hearts should be filled with awe, that their hearts should melt. This is quantitative or qualitative iman? Khushu al qalb. It's qualitative. It's happening in the heart. And تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ By remembering Allah, through the remembrance of Allah, isn't it time yet that their hearts start getting overwhelmed? وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ This ma is actually ma'atuf on ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ يَعْنِي أَلَمْ يَأْنِي لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَن تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَمْ يَأْنِي لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَن تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ isn't it yet time for believers, for their hearts to melt, for them to be overwhelmed by the, the, the consciousness of Allah because of what came down from the truth, through what came down from the through, truth, through the Qur'an? Isn't it time yet that the Qur'an started having an impact on, on you people? وَلَا يَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِ And they shouldn't become like those who were given the book much before. فَطَالَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْأَمَدْ Then a long period passed over them. فَقَسَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Then their hearts became hard. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.